Don't buy your domain from GoDaddy, Wix, or Domain.com. Nobody tells you how bad their annual renewal costs are, and they try to scare you into buying things you don't actually need. Let me show you the smart way to do this. Step one, choose a name. If you already decided on a name, skip to this point in the video. There are lots of tools for this. I'll put a bunch of resources in the description below for you to go through on your own. There are an infinite number of name generators for businesses, YouTube channels, podcasts, etc. But I'd rather just have a conversation with ChatGPT or another AI tool. Give it names of similar businesses or whatever it is that you happen to be starting. What will your business do? Names of words you like or don't like and see what you get back. Give it feedback on the names until you find something you're happy with. How about this one, Pano Chocolat Bakery for my hypothetical French bakery in Detroit. Step two, choose a couple of iterations of the name that could be the URL, ideally in the range of seven to 15 characters. For my bakery, I could use the whole name, which is 20 characters, or something like PAC Bakery, which is only nine. Step three, check which top level domains are available for your URL options. Top level domains are the ending of your domain. So .com, .co, .net, .io are globally recognized options. And then you have country specific options like .in for India, .uk for the United Kingdom, .ca for Canada. For Pan au Chocolat, we have hundreds of top level domains to choose from and also for PAC Bakery. We could get the .com for either. PAC is shorter, I think I'll go with that one. Step 3.5, a little bit of a detour, but I'd also check to see if you can get the same name for the username for the social media platforms you plan to publish content on. And it doesn't hurt to just get them for all the major platforms, just in case at some point in the future, you wanna publish content there and keep anyone else from taking them. Step four, choose a domain registrar. This is who you'll pay for your domain. A few things to know here. One, you have to pay annually for your domain. You're essentially renting it. You don't own it forever. Two, not all domain registrars have all top level domains. There are thousands of them. More specific ones, especially country specific top level domains may have additional requirements. So maybe the platform with good pricing doesn't have .in for India, for example. Three, I recommend getting privacy protection. This should be free. What it does is keep your personal or business information private. When you buy a domain, there's a database that lists the owner on the domain. It'll list name, address, email, and phone number. If you don't have privacy protection, your information will be listed publicly on the internet. Most domain registrars will put their name and contact info instead of yours. This is especially important if you use your home address and mobile phone number when buying your domain. Four, pricing. There are two prices to check before buying your domain. The first year price, what you pay today, and then the annual renewal price every year after the first year. The first year price you'll see clearly when you go to buy your domain. Well, most of the time it's clear and easy to understand, except with GoDaddy. Here you'll see you can get a .com domain for a penny for the first year. Then you read below and see you'll have to pay $43.99 today because you're paying for three years. A cent for the first year and then $21.99 for year two and three. $21.99 for a .com domain is expensive. That's gonna be the renewal price with GoDaddy, a lot higher than what I'll show you in just a second. Also, here's the renewal cost of a .com domain for Wix and domain.com, the two others that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Other domain registrars make it easy to find the domain renewal cost. Here, Spaceship, Cloudflare, and Porkbun showing very clearly what the renewal price will be on the search page and or on the checkout page. Step five, buy your domain. I have a whole video on the best domain registrar showing you the best and worst places to buy your domain. You can find that video in the description below. I'll give you the short version and tell you my three favorite domain registrars and you can choose which to buy your domain from. Cloudflare has the lowest cost for the long term. They sell domains at cost, so they make zero profit selling you a domain. A .com domain currently costs $10.44 for the first year as well as for the renewal. Privacy protection and an SSL certificate are included for free. The one downside with Cloudflare is that it is a side project for a much larger internet security business. Being they don't make any money on this, don't expect much in terms of their customer service. You can submit a ticket here, but I'm not quite sure how long it'll take them to get back to you. If you don't know anything about DNS, CNAME, or A records, it might be better to go with one of the next two. Porkbun, we've been buying domains from Porkbun for years because they have low cost domains, free privacy protection, and an SSL certificate, as well as phenomenal customer service 365 days a year by phone or email. You can get a .com domain for $11.06 for the first year, as well as for the annual renewal. If you use our link in the description or the code that fitgo24 at checkout, you can get a dollar off the first year. Spaceship, 
This is our favorite domain registrar in 2025. With Spaceship, they normally have promotions running, so you can get a discount on the first year. This changes from week to week, but currently you'll pay $9.06 for a .com domain for the first year. Then what doesn't change is the renewal price of $10.16. The prices are a little bit different on the search page because it doesn't include the icon fee of $0.18 cents for a .com domain. You'll see it added on the checkout page and on the domain pricing page that lists all of their top level domains with the first year price, the renewal price, as well as if you have to pay the icon fee for this specific top level domain or not. Currently, the lowest cost option we found is Spaceship, and that's why in 2025, it's the domain registrar we're recommending. If you found this video useful and you'd like to support our channel, you can use our affiliate links in the description when purchasing a domain. Now that you have your domain, it's time to build your website. In this video, I'll go through the best website builders, and I hope to see you in another video. Bye-bye.